Hey everyone, this is Jenna Rose. Welcome to my channel. I have a commentary for you on Love and Marriage Huntsville's Stormy Steel, you guys. Yesterday I told y'all that she said she had been quiet lately, but you know, she was going to get back up and uh, get on uh, social media and talk. And it looks like she broke her fast today. She had something interesting to say about Melody, and I'm going to share that with you guys. Uh, let's see who else. Wanda. Wanda also did something hilarious yesterday. Uh, she ended up, I, I told you guys that she said that she was the CEO, right? Uh, and I also told you that her and Destiny were two peas in a pod. Well, baby, she thought that Destiny was on her side and she made a post and Destiny must have said, mm -mm, child, get somebody else to do it because she took that post down and put up something new. OK, so I'm going to tell you exactly what she did because it was hilarious as all get out. Um, I have some other stories on Love and Marriage Huntsville, so be sure to stick around for that. Uh, Real Housewives of Potomac. I think that Robin sent people on like a Where's Waldo find in regards to Juan's mistress, the alleged mistress. She said that she was on a very popular blog site uh, making some comments and people went over to that blog site and said, baby, where is she? We want to know who this woman is, what she looks like. Well, I have the comments from that post uh, that, that the mistress made on the blog site. I also have her photo. So I want you guys to see that. And then... Ashley. Ashley is still in the news. We all know that she said she was not getting alimony. Well, she also let us know how much her new mortgage is. And she said that if her ex-husband doesn't pay it, she's going to be homeless. She said she can't afford it. I'm going to show you all of that as well. So before we get started, please hit the like, subscribe, and that notification bell. That is how others find me on YouTube. Follow me on TikTok, IG, and Facebook because I post things over there too. Uh, and you guys already know I appreciate all of my new subscribers. Thank you guys for running my numbers up on all platforms. And thank you all who comes back over to this channel every time I drop a new video. When you guys get that notification, you are in those comments letting me know that you support and I could not be more grateful. Thank you all for rocking with me, okay? So let's get started with this video, y'all. Let's get started. So I told you yesterday, uh, in my video yesterday, I said, Stormy made this post. She said, God bless my parents to be a ram in the bush for me today, and I can't wait to share my journey with y'all, okay? She also said, I can't wait. Uh, she also said that I've been quiet lately, but I know my story is going to help so many people, and a lot of y'all had things to say about that, okay? She is teasing us with this story. She wants us to know that she is going to share something, what that something is, we don't know yet, okay? Uh, but today she got on her live and she said that she has taken it back to her grassroots. She started packaging her product, her products herself. She's in her new warehouse. Uh, Y'all know that there's been some complaints that were coming in for her saying, listen, Stormy, I bought this two months ago, three months ago, a month ago. I still haven't received it. Please send me my product or send me my money. Uh, Stormy wanted everybody to know that they are working. And if she had to get in the, into the warehouse herself and um, put them products into a bag, she will do it. Okay. Uh, and while she was on her live, she was reading questions and answering things. Y'all know who else does that, right? Hmm. 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 Y'all know who does it. But this is what she had to say when she was asked if her and Mel were still associates. Let me see if I can turn this up for y'all. Here we go. Check it out. Woo. Mel still associates? I would say we're definitely associates. We associate. That's all right. Gotta do it. Gotta do it. She said, I would say we're definitely associates. Mm -hmm. That's right. That'll do it. OK, uh, yeah. So y'all remember in December, if you don't remember, I'm a jog your memory in December. Um, there was a whole situation where Melody was on her Twitter and she said something about someone recording a conversation. Um, Miss Betty Steele, um, Stormy's mother, thought that she was accusing her daughter of recording her. And it wasn't that. Uh, I don't know why she would think that. Um, anyways. She went off and people were talking about it. Um, Melody actually made a post, I think a day or two after saying, I spoke to the people I needed to speak to regarding that issue. And she said, I'm leaving it here. Uh, well, this is the first time we've gotten a 
reaction or comment from Stormy where she just said, yeah, we're associates now and that'll do it. So y'all let me know what y'all think about that in the comment section. Okay. Uh, if y'all missed my video from yesterday, please check it out. Uh, here is the title and Melody and Destiny are on the front of that thumbnail. In this video, I told you guys that Wanda had some things to say about being the CEO and people. I guess the fans aren't going to make her lose her blessings and, you know, all this other stuff. Well, child, people must have been like CEO of what? Okay, CEO of what, y'all? And then this woman, <laughs> Wanda, had the nerve to post herself to a video Um it was to Coyle Ray's song, Players. If y'all haven't heard it, it's like, I'm about to catch another flight. Mm, apple bottom make you want to bite. That song. There is a lyric that says, because um, when you a boss, you can do what you want. And Wanda was in this video voguing, okay? Just posing to the song. It was actually hilarious. But check out what she posted underneath the video, okay? Um, she said, show enough, Miss Wanda, that's what real bosses do. CEO, baby. Yes, that part, period, boo. And then she hashtag Letitia Scott and she hashtag Destiny Payton. Baby, Destiny, and I swear this might have been up for maybe five, 10 minutes. Destiny must have said, take that shit down now. Okay, get somebody else to do it. I don't want to be tied up in this uh, because... She did end up reposting it. She made two videos and she changed um, the caption. This time she kept up the whole, that's what real bosses do, CEO, baby, period, all that stuff. But she took Destiny's name out and she said, hashtag Letitia Scott, show enough, Mrs. Wanda, uh, hashtag food truck. That was hilarious. And then in the second video, she posted, she just did a bunch of hashtags. Um, Y'all can see those there, okay? But she definitely had to take Destiny's name out of there. And I just thought that was hilarious. I thought that was so funny. You guys let me know what y'all think. Did Destiny tell her, get my damn name off of there? I have enough problems fooling with you. Uh, she, you know... There was a time Destiny would have supported that stuff. We've seen Destiny in the other brothers' comments. Now she's asking, Wanda, don't hashtag me in that stuff. I'm really trying to rebuild. Look at Destiny finally figuring things out. Um, but I will say this. Letitia, uh, the daughter of Wanda, she actually ended up reposting uh, her mama to her uh, stories. And she did the whole laugh emoji. She said, I see you. Okay. Y'all let me know what y'all think about that in the comments, because I just thought that was hilarious. Okay, now let's talk about another story that I did. If you guys remember a couple of videos ago, I said, yo, Melody said something about when you find a, a good wife, you find a good thing, right? And um, I said, I did not recognize it, but her mother had a ring on her ring finger. I said, I wonder if she may be engaged. Well, you guys, she did reach out to me and she said, hey, queen, just wanted to let you know that I am not engaged. So I did um, end up posting or pinning uh, underneath the video where that's at. I put a little pin there so that you guys see it right at the beginning that says she had reached out to me and she is not engaged. And I wanted to also share that in this video. So just so you guys are aware. Uh, what else is going on? I wanted to show you this too. Uh, you guys, if you have not been paying attention to Love and Marriage DC, you should, okay? Uh, they are on their second season. Uh, the first and second episode did not do that great in the ratings, but people have been talking about it all over social media. The third episode that aired last week, the actual numbers, the viewer numbers jumped, I think, over 100,000. So 130 a hundred and something plus thousand more people ended up watching that show. And then the showrunner for the show said, Love and Marriage DC is the best reality show on television right now. I said what I said. Uh, Carlos King said, I love when my showrunners pop their ish. And I just was like, mm, interesting. Y'all let me know if you guys are watching. But I just thought that was, I mean, you know, I think that this season does deserve a watch. So uh, good for them for popping their ish, if that is what's going on. You guys let me know what y'all think in the comments, okay? 
Now let's talk about Ashley Darby because I still can't believe it. I told you guys the other day that she said she will not be getting alimony from her husband or ex-husband, um, Michael Darby. If you guys have been watching Real Housewives from the beginning, you would have heard from the very first episode, the very first scene that we see um, Ashley Darby on, she was saying, listen, everybody keeps talking about me being married to this older guy and I love Michael, but I have a prenup. I have a prenup that is a changing, I forgot what they call it, but it changes over time. So if I give them children, there's going to be a change to the prenup that allows her a certain amount of money. If she stays married for so many years, then there is a change to the prenup that offers her so much money. And so she basically met all of those things, right? She's popped out two children. She stayed married the entire time. In fact, um, when the change happened, when she said, listen, you and I have been married for the whatever number of years, if it was five or seven, however many years, she announced that in season six, like, okay, season six, I'm safe. So you are not allowed to have affairs anymore. I don't want to have affairs with you. We're not going to be that kind of couple. I want us to be a traditional married couple. Uh, none of that other stuff. And the second she said it, that was the second Michael Darby said, see you later, alligator. That's not what I signed up for. Uh, and I have no idea what the hell Ashley thought she read in the prenup. Um, Cause she definitely should have taken it to her lawyer but she's not getting a damn dime. And this silly girl, you guys, is no better off in the aftermath of the marriage either because she said that she purchased a house in her LLC with Michael Darby. Now, she said Michael was taking care of all of the mortgage, which happens to be $13,000 a month. But she said if he does not pay the bills, she will not be able to afford it. And she did not sound like she was any wiser about what his paying that part of the bill actually entailed. So I want y'all to see what Ashley actually left versus what she has now uh, for this 13000 So check this out. So this is the penthouse suite in a building that Michael owns. And this is what it looked like. Uh, so... Michael is a very wealthy man. M majority of his wealth, I believe, come from real estate. And then I believe in the sixth or seventh season, he was going to get into some, like in the filming business. I know that he wanted to be in the filming business. People were kind of guess what filming was it, you know, what did they call it? Pornhub or whatever. Anyways, Ashley went from this, you guys, to check this out. This is a home in Virginia to a very modest, this is the kitchen, and this is her living room, a very modest place, okay? And she said, in terms of financial responsibility, um, they have not delved in into how they will break up paying the mortgage, which is $13,000 a month. She said when they were married, um, they were 50-50 owners. However, he paid the entire mortgage. Now that they are divorced, she said she didn't know how that was going to land. But if Michael didn't take on the majority or all of the mortgage, that she could not afford it, which means Ashley could be homeless. Can you imagine going through all of that mess and not knowing exactly how you were going to come out on the other end financially? That is wild to me. Miss Ashley Darby, um, y'all let me know what y'all think about that in the comments. I knew that she wasn't getting alimony, but I did not know she didn't even know the terms of how that mortgage was going to get paid. I think that is wild. Um, last story is Robin, you guys. Uh, Robin, as y'all are well aware, she said on her, I forgot what that is. Is it reasonably shady? She said on her podcast that the girl, the mistress, uh, alleged mistress who was, you know, reaching out to Juan had made some comments in a very popular blog page and somebody went back and found those comments. And I wanted to show it to you guys right here. So here is the post. Juan's alleged mistress speaks out. Is there more than one? Well, clearly there is. This person who called herself Miss Terry Ray 804, she said, she knows all about me, referring to Robin. So that's the first thing that that makes sense. Robin actually said that she didn't know about her. Then she goes on to say, someone actually said, ma'am, 
spill it, LOL. She responds back, girl, don't play on Beyonce's Wi-Fi. I'll hit my sis and I'll let her know what T is. Then she goes on to say, DM me and I'll send you what I sent her. So she's been sending these receipts for a little over a year. Robin has known all about this for a little over a year, which she did confirm. Uh, she sent it out to players on the cast as well. And then she decided to send everything out. But this is who they are saying is Miss T Ray something, whatever. Let's see. I forgot her name already. Uh, Miss, yeah, T Ray, I guess. Um, so this is who they're saying this woman looks like. So again, there, there's now two people uh, and there's also a, a receipt. Remember uh, Robin said that the lady was asking for money on Zale. This receipt also popped up. Check it out. It says $4,000. If you guys can see right under the 4,000, the lady's name is Brittany. Brittany is the woman in Canada. And she said request received. And then it says canceled. So um, everybody was saying that there is, you know, there isn't a Zelle or Zelle doesn't uh, function or operate in Canada. This appears to be a PayPal receipt. So the money was sent out, the money was, or the money was requested and the request was canceled. So y'all let me know what y'all think about that too. Do y'all think that Juan should have just paid the money? Um, oof, I just think the whole thing is ugly. Um, but yeah, this is the photo or this is, I guess, the Abby, the picture that is being used for the Abby on this other account, now there's two women. Um, we're about to get three and four in the next couple of days. There's going to be a whole list of women before Robin does that one-on-one um, -on -one with Andy Cohen. You guys, let me know what y'all think about all of this in the comments, please. Like the video, subscribe to my channel, hit your notification bell, and I will catch you all on the next one because I'm sure there's going to be something new out tomorrow. Okay, see you guys.